when we talk about rains, it's the amounts we get. In this area, I'm pretty sure we're over 17 inches above normal rainfall for this year. And most of it was this spring. My name is Chris Mulkey, and today I guess we're at Mulkey Farms. Uh, we're in southern Indiana, about 25 miles northwest of Evansville. We've been on this farm since, I'm gonna say 1931. We farm about 1,350 acres total. Uh, we grow corn, soybeans, wheat, uh, a lot of alfalfa. We'll bale about 25 to 30,000 bale of hay a year to sell to mostly horse people. That's about it. You know, we've tried to take some preventive steps to save our soil. Uh, the farm's all about the soil. If we don't save the topsoil, we don't have a farm. But farmers are, they're made to grow. They want to grow crops. I planted that crop. It got drowned out because we had this torrential rain. Now I'm gonna go stick some more money in the ground and plant it. And then it got drowned out. Now I'm sticking more money in the ground. When do I stop? When do I say, hey, that's enough? You talk about the climate change and the differences in the weather and stuff. It, it is, it, it's, it's another challenge. It's, it's more, you know, it's something else that we worry about as far as, well, what is that gonna do to this crop? It's just the age we live in and the, and the, the changing climate that we are trying to, uh, you know, get ahead of it. And are we? I don't know that we are. In the last 20 years or longer, we have uh, tried to resolve some of those issues by putting, you know, standpipes in, uh, terraces, uh, more field tile. I, I wanna say that I'm going to leave it to my son better than my dad left it. If we do not have the soil left on the farm, then we're not going to have a farm. That next generation and the next generation, they won't have any ground to farm because the topsoil will be gone. A good farmer, he's going to protect his land and uh, uh, he's going to try to save his soil. He's going to, to they have so much pride. Uh, they are going to grow a good crop, whatever it takes.